And hello, friends and family. Welcome to Jim's in Down Gardening and Bella's Legacy Rabbitry. I want to welcome you to At the Cross Community and also the JNL Ministry YouTube channels. So glad that you could join me for this introduction that I'm going to be doing. Walk faithfully with God. And what we're going to be doing is a study on the armor of God. So, wherever you might be, we want to wish you a very pleasant day for anybody who might be hearing this message. My name is Jim, my beautiful bride, my helpmate, my very best friend in the world, Leanna, is what makes up JNL Ministries. We just finished up a 75 part series from the Book of Acts, which shared live on the JNL Ministries YouTube channel and also at the Cross YouTube channel. What a joy it was to that book. I, I learned a lot from that book. It was a book that I have learned. I've read many times, heard many sermons on it, but when I got into the Word and studied it, rightly divided Scripture with other Scriptures in the Bible, it, it really spoke to my heart. I learned so much. So, starting this Wednesday evening at 8 o'clock, Eastern Standard Time, that would be August 31st, going to start a new series called Walk Faithfully with God. This is not going to be probably a long series, but every message that's done, whether it's on Wednesday at 8 o'clock or Sunday mornings at 11 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, will be filled with biblical truths on the armor of God. This is the armor that God freely gives to all those who call upon Jesus Christ to be Lord and Savior of their life. Now I want to read Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 to 18. This is what we're going to be teaching on. Apostle Paul, being led by the Holy Spirit, says this. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. That is so important for us. And here's something else that's important. And much of the church doesn't understand this. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, listen to this, this is what we're going to be look, looking at. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you, me, may be able to withstand the evil day, and having done all, to stand goes on verse 14 stand therefore having girded your rip your waist with truth having put on the breastplate of righteousness and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of 16 above all taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one that's Satan he's the one that brings a lot of these temptations and then and we're going to look at this we make choices that are not pleasing to God. Then there's things in the world. We're going to look at each one of these things. Verse 17, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints going to be an exciting series for us, and I do hope you enjoy doing this. As we go through the series, we're going to be looking at the meaning of each part of this armor and what it means for you and I today. It's a jungle out there, friends. There's disorder, there's confusion everywhere. It's a jungle out there. You've got violence, you've got danger everywhere. Now, one of the pieces of this armor is found in verse 15, and we just read it and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. You know, the Bible talks about the good news of Jesus Christ. It's not about good words that are written on a page in your Bible. No. The good news of Yeshua is living words. You get this. The Bible says they're alive and it's able to cut like a two-edged sword through the lies. It, it cuts through those mixed motives that are all around us. 
bringing the truth out into the light. That's what needs to be done, friends. The gospel is like a farmer who plants a seed and someday it's going to grow up and produce a crop. Those that have homesteads, you you understand them. That's what Jesus is trying to explain about the gospel message. When we take it out in the world and we share it, we do it boldly, we do it in love, we do it every day. The seed planted in somebody's lives. And then we hope the Holy Spirit will convict their heart and they'll become a brother and sister in the Lord Jesus Christ. Another piece of the of the armor is the sword of the Spirit. Now, how important do you think it is to know and how to use God's Word? It's not to, to take it and cut somebody up like a knife, no. For a Christian to go out into this chaotic world with, without the knowledge of the Bible would be just like a soldier going out into the battle. And then he remembers, he forgot his sword, he forgot his, his rifle. What's he going to do? He's helpless. He's in trouble. Well, the same goes with us. If we don't know the Bible, if we won't pick up that Bible that cover, is covered with dust because it's laying on a, a nightstand, it's not going to help you. You see, God offers us the sword of the Spirit, the Bible. We need to take it. We need to get real good at using it. Every piece of this armor that we're going to look at, this is what the Lord gives us. It's so important. And we need it today like never before. So friends, put it on. Keep it on. Don't leave it. I've used this before. Don't leave it leaning up against the tree somewhere. Keep it on day and night. Now this is just an example of what we're going to be looking at in this series. There'll be many verses from other parts of the Bible that are going to rightly divide what the main scriptures are talking about. This is an introduction. It's going to be easy. This introduction is airing on three channels at the Cross, j l Ministries, and also Jim's at Matt Hardy, and all the ones he But the sermon messages starting this Wednesday, August 31st, will be aired on only the JNL Ministries um, YouTube channel and also at the Chronicle. I do hope that you will check both these channels out. There are other believers who would love to meet new brothers and sisters. And even if you haven't confessed Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, come and join us. On At The Cross Community, there's something going on every single evening. There's a devotion that I put on Monday through Sunday every morning. It's a little 10, 15, 20 minute uh, devotion. It will help you. All five of these brothers that make up at the Cross community, if you'll listen to their messages, if you'll believe in faith, what they're preaching from the Word, it will help you in your faith life. Somebody might even come to know Jesus Christ and Lord and Savior. This is what we, we hope for. So, if you're listening to this on my garden channel at the at, uh, Jim's in Town Gardening and Bella's Legacy like Rabbitry, you might be asking, what is at the cross community? Well, let me explain real quick. A year ago, last year, at the cross community was created by four different pastors. This was to bring sound doctrine to Christian people to live by God's will. We are here at this channel to share the Bible, to help lead you to Jesus if you don't know him yet. But also, to uplift and edify each one who will listen. You see, Jesus is the only way to heaven. I don't care what some of these movie stars, some of these so-called important people say. There's only one way to heaven, and that's through Jesus Christ. The other thing, we are pro-God, we're pro-life, pro-marriage. That means one man, one woman. 
You know, Leanna and I have been blessed to be part of this ministry. And we invite all of you who haven't been there yet to come join us. Come join us as we give God all the praise and glory for what he's doing. What you're going to find is Brother Donnie, Brother Johnny, Brother Tony, Brother Mike, and myself. And we all extend this invitation to all of you. Now I'm going to list the times of this series again. Um, in the And also the link to the to both channels. You can find it in the description box. box. <laughs> you know, these are pastors. I'm from Maine. We, Johnny's from Illinois. Brother Donnie's from Alabama. Uh, Brother Tony is from North Carolina. And Brother Mike is from Florida. So we've got ones from all representing five different states in the United States. And then... We have brothers and sisters from the East Coast to the West Coast, from the North to the South who are joining us. So we do hope that you'll join us. Friends, we love you. And we do pray God's blessings over you.